I'm Sakura Busajima, 20 years old. I was bullied in elementary and middle school. The bullies used to call me Ugly P. My last name means pink, so they combined it with ugly and made my nickname Ugly P. What an awful nickname. I don't have a father. My mother raised me all by herself, so we were not wealthy by all means. I'm sorry, Sakura. I would send you to college if I had money. Don't worry about it, Mom. I wanted to start working early anyways. Our life can probably be a little bit better too. Maybe I should let go of it. No, Mom. It's a very important furry silk kimono. It's been handed down for generations, right? Yes, but your future is more important than our family traditions. We can always borrow money. But once you let go of it, you'll never give it back. I've always dreamt of wearing that furry silk kimono at coming of age ceremony. The furry silk kimono my mother wanted to sell has been in our family for over a century. All daughters in the Busujima family would wear this furry so to attend their coming of age ceremony. Of course, my mother also wore it when she attended her ceremony. Unlike furry sots produced nowadays, this furry sot has relatively simple patterns and plain colors. Because I know the history of this kimono and see it as a family heirloom, I felt it was unacceptable that we sell it to pay for my tuition. Taking a student loan was another option, but I wanted to make my ailing mother feel more at ease, so I decided to find a job right after high school. Soon came the year of my coming of age ceremony. I couldn't wait to put my arms through that furry so kimono. A week before my ceremony, I got a message from an unexpected person. It was Reina Yakamashi, who used to bully me in middle school. For some reason, she's always been hostile to me. She used to spread rumors about me, hide my belongings, and always tease me for being poor because I came from a single parent household. She harassed me in every possible way, but I felt she was too childish. So I mostly ignored her and never took her seriously. It wasn't fun for her, apparently. Why did she call me this time? Is she thinking of apologizing to me for bullying me at school before tomorrow's ceremony? Hey, Ugly P, it's been a while. I guess I thought too highly of you. Huh? Thought too highly of me? Never mind. Are you attending tomorrow's ceremony? Of course. Really? How can a poor person like you afford a furry silk kimono? I have my mother's. Oh, a used one. That makes perfect sense. It's impossible for a single parent or his health family to afford a new one. I wear what I like, so why do you care? Isn't it perfect, Ugly P? Especially for someone like you who started working after high school. The ceremony celebrates our coming of age and has nothing to do with education. You can't accept not going to college, can you? Don't you just want to go to college and enjoy campus life? Join clubs, go to the cafeteria with friends, fall in love with someone. I'll make so much more money than you ever earn, no matter what. Thank God my family is rich. Are you done? Wait, there's more. Before you go, check out my kimono. Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it super cute? These patterns are the latest trend. It cost $10,000 USD. But my mom says I can choose whatever I like because the ceremony is a once in a lifetime experience. So she got me this one. How much does yours cost? I don't know. Oops, I forgot, it's a used one. It'll probably be worth 25 cents if you put it on the market. What I wear is not your business. Oh yeah? Just remember, don't go anywhere near Masayoshi. Suno? Uh, seems like you've known him for a long time. He's going to inherit his family's kimono business. I want him to see my new furry sewed. Whatever floats your boat. Hide in the corner if you don't want to embarrass yourself by wearing a plain kimono. <laughs> Bye, ugly pee. I don't care about your opinions. Stop being so arrogant and condescending. I blocked Rena on my phone. I decided to avoid her at the ceremony. The person Rena was talking about is our high school classmate, Masa Yoshi. He has a strong sense of justice and hates any kind of mistreatment. He was the only one who cared about me in high school. He would talk to me even though I was a loner. Reina and her friends made fun of Masayoshi and called him a ruler because of his personality. But after Reina knew he inherited his family's kimono business, she started to chase after Masayoshi for his wealth. Since I wanted to thank him for being my friend, I decided to quickly go to him at the ceremony so Reina wouldn't notice. I asked a friend of mine to style my hair. Even though my furry soda is very simple in color and pattern, it's smooth to the touch and doesn't look like it's more than 100 years old. You look beautiful, Sakura. Thank you for making my dream come true. I feel bad for burdening you so much, but I'm glad I didn't sell it. Me too. I'm going. Bye. There were so many girls in pretty kimonos at the ceremony. I didn't quite fit in, but it didn't really bother me. How do I find Suno among so many people? Oh my god! I thought a dirty rag was walking around. It turns out to be you, ugly pea. Ugh, why is she dressed like a courtesan? So, is it my furry so beautiful? Uh-huh. 
Compared to mine, what is that thing you're wearing? How can you not feel embarrassed? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't angry. I contained myself. I decided to ignore Reina and kept looking for Suno. Then I heard someone calling. Is that you, Bushijima? Oh no, not when Reina's still here. And the voice continued. Hey, it's me, Sunao! Do you still remember me? Oh yeah, I was happy to see Suno, but not in front of Reina. Masayoshi! How does she even make that kind of a voice? Um, are you Yakamashi? Ouch, that hurts. I was so excited to see you, Pen. Pen? Is that a dialect? It means I'm sad and I'm going to cry. Oh, I see. Sorry. You look so different, I didn't recognize you right away. Really? Are you saying I look prettier than before? He didn't really say anything close to that. Does your brain automatically twist people's word? Are you going to inherit your family's kimono business, Masayoshi? How did you know that? I know everything about you, Masayoshi. As an aspiring kimono expert, what do you think of my furry sewed? It's the latest design this year, and I paid 10k for it. I see. It looks nice. Very, uh, modern. I know, right? It's so different from certain people's shabby kimono. Certain people? Do you mean Busujima? Uh, I don't mean her in particular. But since you mentioned her, I suppose you think the same too, right? Did you hear that, Ugly P? An expert can tell the difference immediately. I couldn't stand her anymore. Her richness doesn't give her the right to denigrate my family's heirloom. What's wrong with wearing what I want to wear? Besides, this furry suit is very precious to me. Hey, I don't know what you mean, but are you saying Busujima's furry sewed is shabby? Are you serious? I was about to walk away, but I saw Suno glaring at Reina. Of course her furry sewed is so plain and boring. Yakamashi, the furry sewed Busujima's wearing might have a calmer tone compared to yours, but it doesn't mean it's shabby. And it certainly doesn't mean it's not as good as yours. What are you talking about, Suno? If she thinks it's good, nobody has a right to judge or criticize her. I can tell how proud Busujima is of her furry sewed, isn't that enough? What? Reina blushed out of anger and was about to refute Suno. The announcements of the ceremony started. I'll see you after the ceremony. I was so overwhelmed that I couldn't even thank him. After the ceremony, I must thank him for his kindness during high school and for standing up for me just now. I looked everywhere for Suno after the ceremony ended. Then, ah, I felt some liquid on my back. When I looked back, it was Reina with a furious look. She stood there looking at me while holding a can of coffee. No way, is that coffee? My furry sled were soaked with coffee and turned brown from the shoulders to the sleeves. Oh my god, my heirloom furry sewed. You've been on my nerves since day one. You're just plain ugly. Didn't I tell you to stay away from Suno? My furry sewed. What should I do? This is what the old rag of yours deserves. Reina reached for my furry sled while I was in full panic mode. Hey, stop. Let me go. Shut up, ugly pea. I tried to pull my furry sewed away from her to prevent further damage, but she was too fast. No. Look how modern it is. Now it suits you even better. I was in complete shock and couldn't stop crying. Reina looked very proud of her work. People began to gather around us and it started to get noisy. Are you okay, Busajima? Furry sewed. My furry sewed. What did you do, Yakamashi? I went out of my way to be friends with you. How can you defend her and say nice things about her? Why don't the two of you be friends so you can have a bad taste together? Do you think people will forgive you for something like this? If it's about compensation, I have enough money to pay. A shabby rag won't break my bank anyways. <laughs> With a loud, high-pitched laugh, Reina walked away. You okay, Busajima? I'm okay. My furry sewed. Leave it to me. There might be something I can do. Are you sure? I followed Suno to his family's kimono store. They checked my kimono. Seriously? What kind of person would do this? It may not be a valuable price, but it's a priceless heirloom to me. Is there any way you can fix it? Of course. Now let me talk to our skilled craftsman. We will do everything possible to fix it. I can't believe there are people vicious enough to do this. So, what do you want me to do with the Yakamashi? You mean compensation? It's fine as long as the furry so is fixable. Do you remember my motto, Busujima? You hate crooked things? Yes, and she'll always look down on you if you let her go this time. I don't think this is how your wife should be. Let's make her pay for what she did. But no matter how important this furry sewed is to me, it doesn't seem to be worth anything. That's not true, because... I almost couldn't believe what he said to me. You're joking, right? It's true. Aren't you more familiar with compensation lawsuits? Well... It's up to you now, Busujima. I made up my mind. Um, about earlier. Oh, is the appraisal done? How much are you asking? 
$10, $20? Or maybe it's worth nothing. You should pay me instead for getting rid of it for you. You're right, Reyna. The appraisal was difficult. I knew it. That means I don't have to pay you anything, right? But it's not because it has no monetary value. The furry soda is too precious as cultural property. You can't put a price on it like common goods. Huh? That shabby rag? You expect me to believe that? You should. Suno's parents have already looked at it. I probably forgot to tell you, this furry soda has been passed down in my family for over a hundred years. That's why it has a very simple pattern. But its quality is obvious to the trained eye. So if you want to buy a furry soda similar to mine, you'll have to pay at least several times more than the one you wore today. Are you kidding me? I don't believe that. I thought you'd say that. So I thought of a better idea for you to pay. What do you want? You know I've been working after high school, right? So? Do you know what kind of job I do? I'm not interested in your job. Of course. Mommy Robo Law Firm? That's where I work. Are you a lawyer? Aren't you a high school graduate? I've talked to the lawyer, and he said what you did was a crime. How are you gonna sue me without evidence? Suno saw everything, remember? Is he going to testify against me? For what? You shouldn't underestimate his sense of justice. How is this possible? In other words, I can either tell the police or settle with you. It's all up to me, the victim, to decide. Police? Are you serious? You're in a prestige university, right? And your father is the president of a company. Imagine people finding out what you did at the ceremony. I wonder what will happen. Stop! You think you could do that to me, you ugly pig? That's defamation, you know. You should stop adding more crimes to your name. Fine, I'll stop. Are you satisfied? What about the compensation? You think I have that kind of money? Huh? Who brought up compensation in the first place? It's because I didn't know it'd be so expensive. That's just your assumption. It has nothing to do with me. Fine, I'll pay. Don't tell the police or my dad. The lawyer from my work will send you a compensation request soon. I'll decide whether I'll sue based on what you do next, okay? I won't forgive you for this. Oh, so scary. I better call the police. Stop! Fine, fine. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. With the help of my colleague, my firm sent Reyna my compensation request. It included property damage, defamation, and the repair costs for the furry soda at Suno's kimono store. The total was $30,000. If the furry soap couldn't be repaired, it added another zero to the total amount. I fully understood how valuable this furry soap was. Reyna didn't have enough savings to pay the compensation. Eventually, her parents found out, so she was in deep trouble. Her parents paid the compensation for her, and she has to pay them back no matter how long it takes. The furry soap she was so proud of was put up for sale to make up for the payment. Reyna is under tremendous stress because she's never done any part-time job in her life. Her parents came and apologized to me. I'm glad they are not as unreasonable as Reyna. They also brought Reyna. She lost weight and her skin was terrible. She looked like a ghost. She brought this all on herself. As for my family furry sewed, it was repaired beautifully and came back in better condition than I could ever ask for. According to Suno's father, the sleeve was torn from the seam. We brought the furry sewed in immediately so the coffee didn't stain it. I cried tears of joy when I saw the fixed furry sewed. Thank you so much, Suno. Is that happy, Bien? That's now how you use pen? Uh, those new words are so hard to keep up with. Since then, we have occasionally met and had drinks or meals together. I had never been in a relationship before, but I think I've met the right person. And that's how I've been feeling recently.